When you key in your meter number on Mpesa to buy tokens from Kenya Power, have you ever wondered how numbers on your phone translate to actual electricity? It's not just a simple transaction. A lot happens in the background between Mpesa Kenya Power and your home. After you click send on Mpesa to buy tokens, Mpesa servers will talk to Kenya Power's system through a secure digital bridge called an API. Mpesa sends an automated message to KPLC servers confirming your payment and meter number. Kenya Power system then calculates your units. It's not a flat rate. It will check your average usage over the last three months and place you on a tariff band. So you're either on lifeline economy or standard. This is why the same amount of money can give you different units each time. Kenya Power will then generate a 20-digit token, which isn't a random number. It's a highly secure one-time use password encrypted using global standards. This code is locked to your specific meter number and contains a hidden timestamp, so it can't be used by anyone else or for a second time. Now, the meter system in your house is more complicated than it seems. You actually have two parts. The main secure meter that does all the work is called the metering and control unit or MCU, and it's usually in a locked box outside. The keypad in your house is just a customer interface unit. So how do these two talk to each other? They use a technology called power line communication. The keypad where you enter your 20 digit token sends a signal through your home's own electrical wiring to the main meter outside. And here is the most impressive part. The main meter which is outside is a smart offline device. It doesn't need an internet connection. It has its own processor and unique secret key stored inside. It will decrypt your token, verify the meter number and timestamp, and confirm its validity all on its own. If everything checks out, it will close an internal relay switch and your power will be connected. 